Hello and welcome to our 26 footer class C tour to give you an idea of what a camper looks like when a family of four and two dogs are living in the camper for a few weeks. Outside of the camper we have just been since we're parked here for a while we're just keeping our shoes under the camper that tub right there is where we store some of them so we just have them on top of there try to not make it look too junky we also have these hooks and you just twist this and it sticks to the side and we've been hanging bathing suits on that and then this is what the under area looks like these are all tubs for cords and hoses and tools that my husband needs we also have the toolbox we have this to put out when we are staying in a dirt area and it just helps to prevent more dirt getting in this is a small propane so not your typical 30 gallon I think it's five gallon and my husband just fashioned this crate to have styrofoam around it to keep it protected and that's just emergency propane we have a drying rack another shoe tub that one's empty we have a grill back there as well and then in there we have our laundry hand washing laundry tub and basket and that's what we use the drying rack for is for the clothes that we wash and then we have these for s'mores so we get this vinyl map for the inside of our door to mark all of the places that we travel in the camper you can see we have the blue towel hanging on the inside of the screen door on this bar and that is to wipe the dog feet this is the area that you walk in it is dirty every single day I have to sweep it and sweep it and sweep it we have this rug that also gets shaken out when we do cleaning every few days and then directly here by the kitchen this is the closet that we keep our jackets and anything that we need to hang in here we have installed a light to be able to see at night we have a hook in the back as well as this rack to put hats and headlamps and things in this has kind of been a labor of love of figuring it out so like i said it has hanging clothes we keep the kids personal backpacks and ipads here on the side and i have a wool box in the back that we keep our tech equipment and any souvenirs and then I have these e-bags and so we really like to keep the clothes that we've worn out but aren't dirty separate from our clean clothes in the drawer so everybody has an e-bag that they keep their clothes that are not dirty and are wearable but are not clean and then we just have the drawer it starts out nice and folded and then ends up a mess. We have the back bed and that is made every day. We have our little shelf behind it that we have our special stuffed animals and cell phone charger. I have wrist guards. And then in here, it'll get dark because it's going to cover the sunlight. We have more wool boxes. So this has books in it. This has bathing suits, sunblock, anything we need for swimming. And this has extra wipes and an emergency first aid kit for serious emergencies. And then in here, again, this started out differently, but we have a portable power station that we use to run the fan if we're boondocking, and then we can charge it while we're driving using the car charger. I have towels for the pups in there. I have kitchen towels. Again, they start out organized, and then they're not. We have masks. We have this really nice padded bag that my mother-in-law made that we keep the microwave rotating table in we have the oven rack 
just slides in there. And here we have the bathroom. We keep our Turkish towels hanging to dry. The shower, we just have the loofahs and a squeegee. I don't know if you can see the squeegee, you kind of can, that's back there. We have our shampoos, conditioner, and body wash, just travel sizes in there. And the thing that's nice is if it gets really humid in here we have this fan that we can we can run we hello so we have this hand soap so this is where we wash our hands in the bathroom sink and then under the bathroom sink is where we keep the Berkey we've got our hand towel and then I love this corner cabinet, such a great use of space. So we have an outdoor shower, an extra laundry bag, and an emergency kit up there. We have just specialized things here, contact lenses, shaving things, extra bug spray. This is our hygiene bag. So every night we just take that out, lay it on the bed right here, open it up and get what we need out of it. We used to actually hang it up on the bathroom door, but it's really heavy and I'm just nervous about hanging something that heavy on these walls. So we just leave it in there, it's easy to get. If you saw my original tour, we had a plant down here that our, the sellers had in there, but they only had two people. And since we have four, we really need this space. So these are our hiking clothes, we just, wear them there's a lot of ticks on the east coast right now and so these are just the clothes that we wear to hike in and i just again everybody's got an e-bag that we keep them in and then we keep our laundry bag to the right of the toilet until it gets too big but for now it's still pretty small and so it's just tucked right there by the toilet With the kitchen area, we actually right now are running our Berkey, so we have our water hooked up, but we are just having to refill our water containers, and so we just have a process where the ones on the left, we still need to run through the Berkey, and then the ones on the right, we will refill with the clean water and move them to our storage area pretty much always keep my teapot on on here and because of the Berkey it's a little bit crowded in the sink area but we just keep our tea mugs and also our you can see our smoothie blender in the back there just to be there it does take up space in our sink area for the Berkey but it's so worth it to have fresh water and then this is our dishwashing area and we have our dish soap sitting right there in the corner and then underneath the sink is just kind of a catch-all. We have recycling in the back, our trash can in the front, my gloves, clothing detergent for when we need to wash clothes. We have bleach wipes, paper bags, plastic bags, alcohol wipes, extra dish detergent, extra hand soap, our toilet, those orange toilet things to help the toilet smell, and then just an extra paper towel roll that I can get to easily. And that just stays in there. And then inside the fridge, we have, again, for a couple weeks, we still have a lot of food left, so we put the water that we have run through the Berkey and our storing, we put it in these glass jars in here. We have our milk in there, and then we just have drinks and fruit and cheese. We keep our Wa hiking waters in here. We've got lettuce and some leftovers. We've got fruit and cheese and some lunch meat in there. It's currently just on gas. And then we just have fruit for smoothies, some extra lunch meat, and some extra wraps and ice cubes up in the freezer.
The freezer didn't always start that empty, but it is at this point. Right here at the doorway is where we keep the dog water bowls. And then I think I shared this in our tour video, but my husband cut this spot because it's really difficult to get under this banquette seat with the seat belts always plugged in. And so he just put this hole in here. We have a light under there as well so you can see the seat belts. And this does end up to be a big disorganized mess but when I have a little bit of time, I usually just get it organized. It's not a big deal. Here we have our couch. My son loves to have the okay to wake clock out, so we just leave that plugged in. We have this basket. It's a mess of cords. I think we try to organize it periodically, but it really is a mess. These are Apple locators that you can put on your kids without a monthly subscription. And so we really like to have those just in case the kids are going off and doing something. Here is our view for the week. Above the couch, as you can see, here's the couch and then up above here, we have these tubs. Again, I've shown these in the original tour, but it's definitely different when you're living in it. So I have these marked supper, breakfast, lunch, snacks, desserts are in that back corner, and then anything extra is in that corner. For the few weeks that have been gone, this has been great. We have these containers from Ikea that I just put. It helps because boxes take up so much space, so I just fit them in there. We have, this one is empty, so if we do decide to go to the store, we can re-up and put things in here. They are definitely not as organized as they were when we started. We keep our blankets here, and then in the front, we have an insulated cover and that allows us to not have to block off this area like you normally would. We have access to the cab and so I keep things like our day packs. Now you can see there's like the thermos and the backpack. So we just keep them up in the front. I pack them every night for the next day and it's really great to have access to them. And then up above this area, we have a huge bed. And again, we make it every day. And we have this basket over here for my son's books. And up above the table, we have the wool boxes that my husband and I store our clothes in. And then we just have toys and tools and supplies and flashlights and games up here as well. This is the main banquette seat where we keep our extra toilet paper, paper towels, and hiking gear, as well as this water tub that we specifically measured to make sure that it would fit so that we can put our jugs of water after they've been filled by the Berkey in here. And that way, if there's like a leak or something that happens, it is contained inside of this tub rather than going on the floor. So we have our table here, again, very actively in use. We just have a fan going. When we eat, we obviously would move that. We just keep everyone's cups out, We're charging devices. But that is where we eat a lot of the times. And then we keep our raincoats hanging at the door and masks. At the beginning of our trip, it was really rainy and so we wanted to access them and so they're just hanging out there to grab. We have our bookshelf. It's just got like sunblock and bug spray and planners and books up there. And then the kids have their hats just hanging at the door to grab on their way out. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go on out and enjoy this beautiful area that we are at. Until next time.